Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Madden 19 undrafted to MVP. We are finally here. It is the start of the regular season and we will be getting our first start for the Cowboys against the Eagles. So let's get into our first bit of training and also set our seasonal goal. So as a quarterback you have two options, passing yards or passing touchdowns. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get yards more than I'm probably going to be able to get touchdowns, so, truthfully. So I think maybe if we go for 3,500 passing yards, that means we're going to need to have 218 or 219 yards per game. So I think that is going to ultimately be our target. So into training we go. Okay, so shallow cross. Nice and easy, just got to hit one of the underneath guys really and you'll be pretty much guaranteed a completion. There we go, Dante Moncrief. Should be able to get gold on this really. You know, even if you don't get any yards, you still get a completion. So, and that's, a, that's another mark green. So, we're at silver currently. Two more to go and uh, then we'll have I think this one we have to get a first down on. It's usually the case. Yep. We go for gold. So Moncrief is fast is our fastest receiver. He's got a first down. In fact, he's got a touchdown. So that gets us gold for training this week. And that also means that if we simulate that particular training that comes up, we'll get the gold XP for that as well. So after training, we've now got another point that we can spend to increase our rating. So I'm thinking uh, just go with some more field general because we're gonna be throwing it all around the park. Gives us plus two awareness, plus two deep accuracy and plus one throw under pressure. Does put our overall up at 84, so that's a nice upgrade to have just before we uh, get into our first game. So let's see how we do. Okay, it's officially here. We are into game one of our first year as a starter, and we're on the field straight away. We did have a lot of success with it in the preseason, throwing to Michael Thomas on the outside. So let's see how we do. On first down, it's Romo. <laughs> <sighs> of course, our first throw in the NFL is picked off. At this rate, we're going to be benched again. Let's go, Zeke. It's a lovely first run. 14 yards. Ooh. Can't afford to throw any more interceptions this game at all. <laughs> now we've got Olsen underneath. And he gets another 10 yards out of that. So, we have now got some yards. Our first completion in the NFL, officially. And that's Alan Hearns, wide open. And now we're in up to their 28 yard line. Looks like we've got a drive going. Okay, five yards. Elliot is uh, is clearly going to be playing pretty well. If Elliot had just run forward, he would have got a first down. Instead, it's third and inches. It's Crowell this time on the handoff, and he gets the ball. Takes it for seven yards. I like it. Let's see if we can get a pass fitted in to Thomas or Olsen. Well, anybody, really. Michael Thomas drops the ball. Ah, that's not what we need. We really need to get a score here. No interceptions, just if the throw's not there, don't force it. Hopefully Moncrief comes open on this. He is. But it's, he's only down at the three yard line. So we're three of five, 41 yards, which isn't too bad. We do have that interception. Slants is usually quite good this close to the end zone. 
Ideally, I want to hit Thomas, but might not get the opportunity. But we do. Thomas catches it. That's our first touchdown and his first touchdown as a cowboy. Let's go, Zeke. Let's feed him. And he gets four yards, but with four rushes for 28 yards, seven yards per carry. A nice start, so we'll give it back to him. And Elliot gets the first down again, and it's another seven yards, so he is the hot hand at the moment. Now, the last time we ran this play, I tried to force it to Julius Thomas, and uh, he ended up he ended up being intercepted. And this time, we're sacked. I was looking at Thomas again, but uh, I looked at the wrong Thomas. Oh, cool, okay. Greg Olsen just plucking it out of the air. Hopefully Moncrief will come open on the corner. Looks like man coverage. I believe Olsen in to block. Sacked still 7-3 up. Give it to Hearns, see what he can do. Can't turn it upfield. Gets five yards though. Let's give it to Elliot. Never seems to be a bad idea. Wide open hole up the middle, and Elliot makes a good cut. He's up. Well, inside the opponent 45, and he's got 44 rushing yards now. There's only six in the box, we've got six blockers. They tried to blitz it, but. Uh, or they tried to blitz to stop him, but it didn't work. That's another seven yards gained. So I'm not going to force it to the outside guys. This is zone because there's no nobody over the receivers as such. Yeah. Sacked again. I ideally want to be able to hit Elliot here. Oof. Managed to just get the ball off as uh, as I was hit, so. It's, looks like we're going to end up punting. Hoping Alan Hearns comes open on this. He does. I'm just going to give it to Elliot just to hopefully move the chains and keep our drive rolling. I don't want to be the the reason that our drive stops again. At least get a field goal out of this drive. Michael Thomas drops the ball. Damn. We'll give it to Elliot because. As I say, he's averaging nice numbers for us, so let's see. Uh, well, I'd rather you didn't go backwards. Okay. That was locked. There was nobody able to get free there. Maybe Olsen was open for a split second, but again. We just can't seem to get anything going against this Eagles defense, and we need to get some yards, some points, just to give ourselves a chance, really. It's a good catch from Hearns. Fingers crossed Elliot will be open on this. He is. We're almost in field goal range, really. Need about 20 more yards, I reckon. Hit the fullback, and he trucks his way forward to the 42. Now a play fake here on first down. It's a great catch by Olsen. So there's only one deep safety, so probably cover three. Elliot gets down further, and we're going to take our last timeout with three seconds to go in this quarter. It's only a short field goal. Elliot gets another big game. Ten rushes, 71 yards. We need to put points up now because the Eagles have shown that uh, they can score. They hadn't done much of it. Oh, that's a nasty spin. With a bit of luck, Hearns comes open on this. Um, 
58 reacted to that super quick. Who's the build? Who's gonna make the big play? Roman out of throw. Go on, Thomas. Wide open. Well, I say wide open. He was ended up open at the 24 yard line and with 13 of 17 for 144. Not too bad at this point. If we can keep ourselves upright and give the ball to Elliot at every opportunity, we'll get ourselves going. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys you have dropped two passes. I kind of want to go QB draw, but at the same time, I don't. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. We'll take the first down, though. Five yards and gives us a first down, makes it first and goal as the commentator just said there. I want to give the ball to Elliot, make sure he's the focus and he's into the end zone. And that is 16-10, a good first drive of this second half. I decided that every drive that we have, I'm going to start on the ground with Elliot and I mean, he didn't get anything there, but he did run somebody over. I mean, that's some great blocking. In fact, he's picked up the first down, so we like that. 114 yards. Romo's helped his team out by managing the game pretty well. We'll hit Thomas. Second and three. Let's see if we can take over in this fourth quarter. Looks like it's going to be cover two. What? Are you serious? Oh... That is awful. And it's now 17 all. He just... <sighs> Hearns has more speed than him. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, if that got picked off, I would have been, been annoyed. <laughs> this has been awful. There we go. We'll hit Elliot for six yards. Get ourselves... A more manageable third down. With a bit of luck, we'll clear out uh, the coverage with the verts, and then Elliot will end up open. Are you... Oh. It's so annoying that the team just won't block. The left tackle there had nobody to block, and he was just stood there. Didn't even try and just hit that guy coming through. So annoying, and now we're losing. Perfect. Moncrief to come out, to come up in the clutch here. It's fast, get a first down. I'll take that. That's good. I need to come through in the clutch, really. It's not not anybody else. I need to throw the ball better, make better reads. Thank you, Olsen. He's finally caught it. Looks like cover four. We'll hit Elliot underneath. Get some yards. It's a great pass, and there's Hearn. So we're down to the six yard line. This looks like man coverage. I want to hit Elliot, and he's open. And there we have it. We bring ourselves to one point behind the extra point to come. If I make it, it's a tight game. Two touchdowns as well. The extra point is good, and we have 34 seconds to get ourselves into field goal range. We have two timeouts as well. And there's. <laughs> it's so bad. It was man coverage. They blitzed us, and it looks like we may be going to overtime. Come on, Thomas, you take it all the way. You might well do. Alright, time out, time out. Now we've got... They're going to put me out. Now. Okay. So, they're going to put the kicker out for a 61 yard field goal try. Of course he didn't make it. But I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? Yes, Olsen. 
just about managed to stop 58. Hicks getting that again. Focusing on the run game. We'll be good. We'll be good. Elliot's had a great game, and I don't know why I haven't used him more. Ooh, okay. This is a big down now. Third and one, and Olsen is open. That's good. The hole just closed there. It's a massive hole up the middle. Brings us to a third and one, I believe. Yep. Now, they are not running a formation that is built to stop ours. And Isaiah Crowell gets his second carry for 10 yards there. And now Crowell gets a big gain again, another 10 yard gain from him, maybe 11. Three rushes at 28 yards. We'll hit Michael Thomas and he is down at the six, pulling guard as well. Elliot, is that first down? I think it is. Olsen is open and we have thrown the game winning touchdown. It is 30 to 24, the final score. And Tony Romo comes through clutch in the end at the end. 310 yards and three touchdowns in that game. So after starting so poorly with an interception with our first throw, we come through three touchdowns, two interceptions, and we finish with a better rating than what Carson Wentz did as well. Let's advance to the next week and our next game. So let's simulate our training. And uh, we have another point to improve our player. I'm going to go field general again, mostly because I want to actually upgrade the medium and short accuracy a little bit more. So what have we got? One play action, one deep, two short, one on the run, one under pressure. So actually, I think that's quite nice. So without further ado, let's get into our second game against the Buffalo Bills. This is time to get into our first game, or our second game. We're going to go with the run play that it gives us. Give Elliot the first um, carry of the game, or the first play of the game. And that's eight yards. Nice. So after starting with eight yards, we might as well keep giving him the ball. And uh, at this rate, it's going to end up being used about 90% of the time. Wide open hole. And he gets 15 yards on that carry. Boom. That's a lovely pass. And Thomas was open. 17 yards there we go he is running so well so it'd be pointless stopping him doing that Elliot is just getting open every time or into open field should I say five rushes 42 yards unbelievable looking at Thomas here hopefully Julius Thomas the tight end on the drag he is open as it was zone coverage and Michael Thomas with a nice block on the outside really to uh, allow him to get the first down you know we should be able to punch it in here Ola Wale is in for the touchdown so we get our first touchdown on the game and uh, it's our fourth passing touchdown of the season so we conceded three points, and as with the first drive, we're going to give it to Elliot to start off. He has been in immense form today so far. But of course, Prescott does in real life, just gives it to Elliot and then makes a play off of play action. And that is another first down. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting to actually roll out there. I was hoping to throw it early. That's the eighth time we've been sacked this season. So that's always 
Nice to, nice to hear, isn't it? Ideally, Moncrief will get open on this. But, uh, and there it is. Lovely catch on the sideline. As I say, we've just got to feed Zeke. And he gets another seven out of that. So he is just unstoppable at the moment. As with most of the runs, we have six blocking and only six in the box. Another first down for Elliot. It looks like zone. It is zone, so we'll hit Elliot out the backfield and he should. Well, he's picked up eight yards. Well, it's second and two, so if we give it to Elliot. All right, it's Crowell even this time. All right, he's got a massive, massive gain. 12 yards. He's been a great relief back so far. We're only a game and a quarter in. Hopefully hit Elliot out of the backfield. If not, Thomas should be open. Or one of the Thomases should be open. We will just throw it to Elliot. He won't get the first down, but it does make it third and short. Looks like zone coverage. It is, and we'll hit Julius Thomas for six yards, and we're down to the seven-yard line. The first time we got into the red zone in our last game, and this game, we've passed for a touchdown to Thomas. So let's to let's see if we can do the same. We have second touchdown of the game, and that makes it 13 to three. We are very balanced. 12 rushes, eight passes. No, we're doing okay. Elliot with a massive hole. 75 yards on his 11 attempts today. 61 yards, so... Okay, Elliot is stopped there. Gallup is on the underneath. So, probably look to hit him. It is zone, so Gallup is open. Moncrief gets the ball. Okay. We'll hit Thomas there. It was man coverage. I want to hit Moncrief on this uh, this fade. But uh, it's more than likely not going to be open. Instead, Olsen is open over the middle on the seam. We look really good in this so far. I don't know whether that's because the Buffalo Bills are so terrible on this. But uh, Thomas is open again for another first down. So we are going to give it to Elliot this time, even though we have got half a minute. That's a lovely cut as well. We're going to take a time out here. We've got Moncrief and Coppen in, which are at receiver. Coppen's our rookie. Moncrief's one of our free agent pickups. We'll hit Julius Thomas. He gets the first down. I'll we'll take a second time out here. This player has been good to us so far in this game. Thomas has got his second touchdown, I believe that is, and we have our third passing touchdown of the day. Yeah, let's let's give Elliot the ball more this half and see if we can get him a touchdown as well. So Elliot has another wide open hole, and he's officially at 100 yards for the second game in a row. Elliot cuts it back when he probably didn't need to, but he still picks up six yards. It just seems to be that every run against the Bills just just goes for a first down. Looks like cover four. In fact, it was cover three. We'll get five yards. We're going to give it back to Elliot. And hopefully he can pick up a first down here. Not more. It's Crowell. Okay. He's got three rushes for 22 yards, so he's running hard again. A cover two zone look. That's a risky pass, but uh, Julius Thomas does bring it in. We've run it every time we've been in the red zone so far or within scoring distance. We've hit Thomas twice. We're going to hit Thomas a third time, but he drops the ball. That's our first incompletion. I'm looking really for Elliot because this. Elliot will get the first down and he will get a touchdown as well. 
It's our fourth passing touchdown, but Elliot has his touchdown today as well, so that's good. So, Elliot will get the ball again, and that is a big hole. He's still up, but he's eventually tackled after 12 yards. This game is pretty much over, you know. Elliot gets another 10 yards or 11 yards, you know, it's just, he, he's eating them alive. Give the ball again to Elliot. And then after that, I'm sure Crowell will end up being in for a relief spell. 20 run, 21 rushes, 142 yards. Perfect. Elliot is still in, so we might as well just keep handing it to him. He will break one of these eventually. Big yardage again. We're going to go play action here. Crowell's in. And for some reason, Romo is facing on our own end zone. Oh, he picks up. So another six, seven yards. From the gun on third down, Romo. Michael Thomas catches the ball. I don't know if that was fourth down or if that it gave us a new first down, so that's excellent. We haven't had an outside run yet. We've only been giving it to him, to Elliot inside. So uh, here we'll try it. Elliot gets outside. Oh my word. He should have just taken him on. But that was an incredible run. That's the best run we've had from him all day. Come on, Zeke. In you go, boy. Not quite there. Three yards. 25 rushes, 189 yards. So that tells you the sort of day he's having. And we have the numbers that side. So we should be able to get it into the end zone. Up the middle. And Zeke is stopped on the one yard line. As we're inside the one yard line, it's not just we're at the one yard line. We're inside it. I think a QB sneak will actually get us the touchdown. Can they convert another? And if we don't get it here, then we'll go again. There's the sneak. It's a Russian touchdown for Tony Romo as well. Thomas has 92 yards. I want to get him to 100 this game. Had about the same in the last game. It looks like man. Perhaps. It was zone, so Oluwale was open over the middle. We've officially uh, hit our target for this drive. Elliot stopped after just two yards. So I want him to get to 200 yards. There's the wide open hole, and that should be 200 yards. It is 28 rushes, 200 yards. Hasn't got a touchdown today yet. We're going to run it again. Can they stop us? They haven't stopped us all day. We're five, five touchdowns from five drives today. Oh, it was Crowell anyway, so it doesn't affect the stats too much. <laughs> Not the most on average, because obviously he's run one other play. But it's Crowell again, and he... Why did he turn sideways? If he just run forwards, there's a first down. Elliot is back in. We should pick it up. There it is. First down and more. So let's try this stretch play, hopefully with Elliot in this time. He is this time as well, so that's good. Let's give it to him, see what he can do. Oh, he breaks the tackle. And he was taken down by his face mask, so that's going to be a half the distance to the goal penalty. There's Michael Thomas again. First down. It's Crowell in the backfield. So we're going to change that up. Michael Thomas with... Oh, it's Alan Hearns even. With a touchdown that time. It's our fifth passing touchdown. And uh, yeah. This is officially game over. I'm surprised they haven't pulled me out. It's official. We've had probably the perfect game. Elliot is up to 222 yards on the day. Unbelievable. Let's go, Zeke. 
Dolphins can be given a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say. I'm thinking going play action, but changing all the routes just to go deep. See if we can throw a deep pass to someone like Thomas or Hearns. Hearns is going to be open. No! It was worth a go. I was hoping to get one of those deep passes complete, but it doesn't happen. Would have been a perfect passer rating, I reckon, if uh, I hadn't thrown that for five touchdowns, one interception right at the end there. Unnecessary, but, you know, we had to go for it. 92% complete as well in this game. Josh Allen, under 50% and only 68 yards. So that's it for episode six of Undrafted to MVP. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including weekly episodes of Undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe and I will see you next time.